Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Tuesday edition of Coffee and Cards. And happy fall today. I'm always happy to be here with you guys. And I'm going to get my, oh, I turn my volume down. Why is it that we always forget to turn the volume down? Because oh, I'm playing music usually, you guys. So, I'm here in my temporary spot. And in case you hear water dripping in the background, that's the kitty water dish. I, good morning, Kareen, and good morning, Erica and Nancy. Good morning, you guys. We have so much going on. You guys should have gotten the November Ding Dong Ditch in the email on Sunday. Wow, right? Sunday, I had it actually ready to go. I'm super excited about that. Good morning, Logan, because I know that you're there with mom too. Um, Don't forget to vote today. And I have some things to go over. And sunshine, exactly, Erica. I was super excited about the sunshine today, too. So needed today. So needed today. Take a swig of coffee. So coffee cheers, everybody. And I'm still kind of trying to figure out how things are situated here. So, you guys, it might take a little bit longer to get creative today because I'm struggling in this space. But I have some fun stuff to share with you today. And one of the things that I have is a sneak peek from one of the things that um, I received in that onstage box that I shared with you. Ooh, Erica has a juice smoothie this morning. That sounds fabulous. So every event, and I gotta scoop my chair back, so I apologize. Every event that we do, you guys, we get a bag. And this bag is huge. Huge, huge, huge. And look at the cute pattern on the inside. I'm loving that ice cream pattern. Good morning, Paula. And this thing, you guys, it's big. It's got a, po a bunch of pockets on it. I love the color. Um, so this, again, is a sneak peek of something that we're going to see in the spring catalog. And then the other thing that I want to show you, I'm going to flip the camera around because it's easier to show you so that I can see, make sure that there isn't too much glare on it because it's a stamp set. And then the other, the one, oh, I forgot to grab it. When I flip my camera around, I will, I will go and grab it. The stamp set that we will be creating with, that we will be creating with during on stage, we, um, the people who registered were able to pre-order the parts from the, or the paper. So the paper, the, the, the stamp set and the punch along with the cutest little embellishments ever. So, but first I want to show you what I got or what I received in my bag for attending on stage as a gift, a stamp set gift. So hold on one second, I'm gonna switch the camera around. Oh my goodness. Facebook's yelling at me. Let's see how I do. Oh, I got a little bit. All right, guys. So this let me put a punch underneath it. There we go. That is the stamp set that we received in our package from Stampin' Up. Gorgeous. I'm super excited about that. That is completely in my wheelhouse. So the seed pods. Look at all those seed pods. Love it. Little milkweed. And I don't remember what that is, but those are even like poppy pods. So cool, you guys. So, so cool. Anyway, so this is one of the things that we got in that big bag. Along with the stuff that I showed you on Saturday. 
that was the, you know, the pads of paper, the stickers that Erica loved, and the super cool pen that we received. Those were all the things that we received as thank you gifts in for attending um, on stage. So very, very cool. Put that punch aside. Now, for, was there ribbon, Paula? Did I forget the ribbon? There wasn't ribbon, was there? If there was ribbon, I forgot to grab it, but it's probably here. I don't remember. Anyways, so the bundle that we were able to order, and I have mail everywhere, you guys, because I have more mail going out today. Um, the bundle that we were able to order that will be, and I'm giving you a sneak peek at another product that's going to be in the spring catalog is this, it's called Dainty or Dandy Garden. So, and look at those dragonflies, you guys. Whew. And the, the uh, dandelions. And so the colors, I'm, I'm not going to open the package. You guys are going to have to wait. But I'm going to show you, tell you the colors. Basic Black, Blackberry Bliss, Bumblebee, Calypso Coral, Misty Moonlight, Mossy Meadow, and Whisper White are the colors that are in here. And then this is the coordinating stamp sets. Look at those dragonflies and look at that little sprig of wildflowers. Love it. Love it. Oh good, you can't see that. Good morning, Dawn. How are you this morning, honey? So this is the product that we will be stamping with for on stage this weekend. Now, here is the, and I haven't even pulled it out yet. Here is the punch, you guys. It's a double dragonfly punch, small and big. And if anybody's been here to the homestead, we actually have a pond. And down at our pond is, you guys, we have dragonflies galore down there. We have all different colors, all different sizes. It's actually really, really cool. I love the punch too, Erica, super cute. But here's, here's the cutest embellishments ever, you guys. Yes, Erica, you will be able to order these. As a demonstrator, you can order stuff on the 1st of December, I think, and customers will be able to get this stuff in January. So these are the embellishments, you guys. Those are little ladybugs. And I hope, yes, you can, okay. Oh my gosh, the ladybugs are awesome. Love it. And you guys, this is, this is, substantial embellishment here. This is like awesome embellishment. They kind of look spider-ish, but they are definitely their metal ladybug trinkets. Merry Christmas to Erica. All right, so, but today I showed you guys all that stuff. Oh, I want to show you one more thing. One more thing. Getting back to the ding dong ditch. So if you got the Ding Dong Ditch email, I'm going to show you what the tag buffet is all about. Here is the coordinating stamp sets. And you guys, it's just too cute not to get. I want to say, I want to say, want to say, want to say, we should say good morning, Sharon. Um... The stamp set, you guys, the stamp set's $18. It's a photopolymer stamp set. And it, we've got your, your, your Merry Christmas, Tis the Season, With Love for You, the two froms. But it's this sentiment, you guys. I love this sentiment. May the good times of today become the cherished memories of tomorrow. Wishing you lots of love and happiness. 
seriously, think, let that thing sink in a little bit. But I love the, you've got some berries and some mistletoe and some sprigs. And these are all things, you guys, this is all classic Christmas type stuff. I could totally see using your Stampin' Blends with that and then cute little stockings, but I wanna show you. Now, I just took it out because a customer stopped by this morning already. But you guys, this thing's packaged, okay? Comes this, you get this box, and it's in here, in this, and then in this. I mean, it's like crazy. They don't want the box to get squished. So, oh, Erica, don't contemplate. I'm telling you. So here is the box. It's smaller than a paper pumpkin box, and I'm going to pull that in. Smaller than a paper pumpkin box, because here's your paper pumpkin box, and here's your tags box, or your tag buffet box. Oh, by the way, you guys, I have an extra paper pumpkin for October if anybody needs one. All right. Anyways, this, you open this, and I did a couple because I want to be able to show you what it's all about, but I'm going to hold that part to the last. Obviously, you get instructions. It comes all packaged up, so you don't have to worry about it getting wet. Everything's all packaged real nice and no worries, but look at how cute that box is. Totally a gift box, ready to go. But then you've got all these parts and pieces. You get six different tags. Uh, put this off screen. Six different tags, you guys, but you get five of each. There's 30 tags in here. So, plus the twine. And here's what the tags look like. I actually have two, Erica. Erica, you and I will talk about that paper pumpkin later because I can help you get that figured out. So hang on one second. Anyways, here is the, the um, all the parts and pieces come together. It's all nice little die cuts, all organized really nice. Squirrels. Erica, you're my squirrel today. All right, but here's the tags, you guys. So you get the big ornament tag, and you get the stocking, and the cardinal, and the presents, and the sprig, and the tree. So this is as the directions state. That's okay, Erica, I'm just teasing you, honey. All right. Green ribbon. Paula says we got green ribbon too. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look, Paula. You're probably right. I can, oh, that's where that green braided trim came from. That's where that's from, right? Oh, so the the mossy meadow braided trim. I was wondering where that was from. Is from the uh, dandy garden. That's where that's from. Oh my goodness, and I almost used it on something, Paula. All right. I knew that, the, I knew I was missing something. All right, so. Now, here's, here's the thing. The only thing that you have to stamp, you guys, on these is the sentiment. Everything else is done. Everything is part of those little die cuts, and I'm going to pull that back out. I'm, gonna, I'm only going to pull out one, you guys. So the die cuts are already done. All you have to do is stamp the stamps or stamp the sentiments. Super easy. Great tags. And here's the other thing, you guys. They doubled up the tag on here. You could get so many more tags if you just did one of the layers because there's actually two layers here. And look at that. You could do a tag if you need a lot of tags or if you want to use them for Christmas cards. You could kind of switch things up a little bit because here is a card base and it fits. 
on the card base as well. So let's say you don't, I had a customer that just said she doesn't do cards. She's gonna do these because she's getting um, Whisper White cardstock and she's gonna use them as Christmas cards. 30 Christmas cards with um, a pack of white cardstock done and done. So super fun, super, super fun. All right, so that is the Ding Dong Ditch for the month of November. Well, option number one, actually, because I did put in there as an option if you wanted to add that pack of white cardstock. So that is one of the options. And if you did not get the Ding Dong Ditch information, then let me know. Send me a private message and I can add that for you or I can send that out to you. So super, super cute. Love the tags. I'm actually thinking too, you guys, that in person, I think if anybody wants to get together to make their tags, I think it would be kind of fun. We could do that here at the studio when the studio's done, like the end of November. Something like that. Hey, Vicki. Wow, Vicki. Vicki, you haven't missed any of the stamping. You just missed all the talking. So you made it just for all the fun stuff. Woohoo! All right, that's not gonna close because it's not gonna cooperate. All right, so today I gotta get I gotta I gotta move all the Christmas stuff, you guys. I'm not ready for stamping Christmas stuff yet, but we gotta get on that. Gotta get on that. All right, so today I have some Sahara sand and some Whisper White cardstock because we're gonna talk about fall birthday cards, you guys. Now, in trying to be efficient, it's not very efficient. You know, I'm not used to where all this stuff is at at the moment. So bear with me, you guys. Crumb cake, pumpkin pie, and what other color? Should we use a red or a darker orange? Help me out, you guys. So I want to do some simple stamping <coughs> on this. And I, I know we're going to use either the crumb cake or... Um, the soft suede maybe and the pumpkin pie because we've got pumpkins here but I definitely want to do some background on that I'm thinking I may be pulling in I need a light color so what about a yellow so should we do a yellow or like a so saffron Crushed curry. Could do a crushed curry with that. Because kind of what I'm going to end up doing here, you guys, what I was thinking of, is I'm kind of going to make my own designer series paper. Kind of. I know. Jennifer, that's not telling us much, is it? Nope. We could even pull in the Mossy Meadow for the sentiment instead. Hmm. I'm thinking I like that color combo. What do you guys think? Ex oh, I know. Paula says yellow is a, is a perfect choice. <laughs> a super choice. Sorry. So I'm thinking that's going to be, and we'll use the Mossy Meadow for our sentiment. Oh, Erica, it's a lot of practice. I've been doing Make My Own Designer Series paper for a long, long time. All right. So, I, I see the hearts. So, I think we're going to go with this color palette. So, pumpkin pie, crushed curry, and the mossy meadow. And the secret to making your own designer series paper, Erica, is going with the biggest stamp first. All right. 
So we're gonna pull in this big maple leaf with all that beautiful veining. And I don't have, oh my gosh, you guys, I don't have any scratch paper. Um, maybe. Oh, I know what I can use. You guys, I got my, my badges for my event for this weekend. I was in level two for team building and leadership and then level one for sales. So super excited about that. Where, oh, my, my trimmer's on the other side of the table. You guys, poor Joe, I have totally taken over the table. I tried not to. I really, really tried not to. <laughs> All right. Here, let me cut this up so we can use this scratch paper. All right. So we got that. Because I definitely, I like doing the first and second generation. So for those that don't know what first and second generation is, we're going to take this maple leaf in the crushed curry and we're gonna do a first generation here. And we're gonna huff on the stamp set and we're gonna do a second generation down here. I did not re-ink it, that's what second generation means. So there's our different color variation so that you guys can see. And I'm not using, I don't wanna do like a super huge, oh I didn't read that, thing, I want just a little bit of pattern on here you guys. Now I did pull back in the um, the cherry cob or the oh my goodness the cr uh, crumb cake for the little wheat sprigs and these I only want as a second generation so that's what my scratch paper is for just like that. And we can add more of those if we so choose later. Sorry, Vicki. All right, so there's that. Now, I think, I'm thinking that I want to use this big pumpkin, the single pumpkin, with the pumpkin pie. And oh boy, apparently my pumpkin pie needs to be re-inked. There we go. Now, Erica, I know what you're going to ask me but I'm going to explain this to you. Here we go. Here's where our sentiment's gonna be. So you're only gonna see parts of what's going on here, but I wanna do a little stamping on this too. So, which is why there's only two on this. So I'm gonna pull my crushed curry back in again with my maple leaf. And no, I know that the whole maple leaf is not gonna fit on here, but I don't want it super dark. So we're going to put the maple leaf like this, and we're going to hold on for three seconds on that one. And we've got just the super faint little maple leaf back there. And then I want this one pumpkin. here and 
And then we're gonna pull in those little arrow pumpkins. Maybe, there we go. And I'm gonna put that down here. We're gonna pull back in that little sprig. And on a wing and a prayer, you guys, this is gonna look cool. Now, I want this wheat thing to look like it's behind this pumpkin right here. So I'm gonna mask it off. And I'm gonna stamp that, just like that. Now, you can use your die cut and cut it out to do the masking, but I didn't think that it was necessary. So we've got that nice little weed sprig up there. And then we're gonna pull in our happy birthday sentiment. So what do you guys think so far? Good? I chose the happy birthday from the best year. Oh, Vicki, I'm sorry you're having internet issues. So I'm say, because I'm watching and I'm looking pretty good on my end. But, all right, so here's our happy birthday sentiment. I would like to have maybe one that's a little bit bigger, but I think this is the biggest one that I have. So we're going to go with it. There we go. And I'm going to put my... Happy birthday to you, right there. And it's a little crooked, but that's okay. We're gonna go with it. And then, Paula, just for you, I think we're gonna do a little, just a knot of gingham ribbon. Oh, yeah. ribbon. I was, that was my plan, but I think we're deviating from the plan. Sorry, you guys. Nope. I don't like it with the ribbon, you guys. Alright, so let's look at this. Let's Oh, Paula's clapping. Well, Paula, I'm sorry. I didn't like it. Here is... Here is where we're going with this. Now, maybe we should just do a couple of leaves. We could do a couple, or a couple maple leaves. We could do that. I had the leaves here just in case. I think that might be a plan. Well, well, I'm sorry, Paula. Do you like it? I don't know that I like it. All right, we'll tie it and see. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. All right, you guys, talk to me. Ribbon, no ribbon. What do we say? Well, you guys are pondering that. I 
I know Paula likes the ribbon. Scoot it to the other side, she says. Okay. You guys, I'm sorry, there is a lag. So it's gonna take me a minute and it's gonna take a second for the video to catch up. Okay, Erica likes it. Kareen likes the ribbon. Okay, all right. I'm outvoted, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. We'll pull in the ribbon scissors, and there we go. Oh, too long. Clean this one up a little bit. All right, there we go. So do we, do we need leaves then? Nancy says it looks okay. Well, Nancy, okay, that means it looks bad. <laughs> All right. Clap, well, Paula's clapping again. She's happy. All right, well, that's that then. I'm thinking it needs some pumpkin pie leaves is what I'm thinking. So we'll put this up here. All is right with Paula today because she got her Daffodil Delight ribbon. All right. So there's that. There's that. Oh man, I am Really, I think because you guys, this kitchen chair is shorter. I'm not up as high, so I'm having issues with lining things up. I should move my office chair in here. All right. So here is the card. Do we need orange leaves? I think we need to cut, cut a couple of orange maple leaves. That's what I think. And you guys, I don't have access to my scraps, so this is gonna hurt. This one's gonna hurt. My scraps are all covered up. Yeah, pull a Judy and stand up. Exactly. Oh, I think that might be it, you guys. I think that might... That and those. Oh... I think I figured it out, you guys. We need the clue dots. And there. And then and there. Mini dimensional for this one. crooked that's all right all right so do we need I think I'd rather leave it no rhinestones but we could do these holiday rhinestones on here because we have small ones these little small crushed curry ones but I think I like it without the rhinestones 
because I would have no issue sending this to a guy like this. Rhinestones, that to me is a little questionable. But, nice option. What do you guys say? I like it. That turned out. It needed the leaves to pull it together for me. You guys need a closer view? There we go. Yep, Erica likes it without anything else. I think so too, Erica. I think so too. All right, so does anybody have any questions about anything that we did today? Anybody have any questions about anything that we talked about in the beginning? Paula likes it. That's all that matters. Paula likes it. Everything is all right in the world, you guys. We didn't do the inside. See, you guys aren't reminding me. Um, let's see. You guys aren't reminding me. Do a leaf on the inside. like that and a pumpkin with the pumpkin pie hey Corrine if you're still here I think we need to do some re-inking there we go all right now we even Oh, I love that maple leaf too. Did you see the blog today, Erica? Was that today's blog post or is that tomorrow's blog post? Today's Tuesday. No, tomorrow's blog post. All right, tomorrow's blog post, Erica. We use the big maple leaf stamped and die cut because there is a die cut set. If you didn't know, there is a die cut set to go with this, with this pumpkin and leaves and all of that with this. Look, gather together. That maple leaf, and that's the actual size, Erica. That maple leaf is, it is how many inches? Let's see. It's two and a half inches from tip to tip. So it's a nice size. It takes up some real estate, that is for sure. But I love that, you know, it can, you guys, you can make your maple leaves any color. I don't know about you guys, but my maples are pretty much spent. I'm looking at naked maple trees. But I have one that still has that like, um, that Cajun craze color, that really dark burnt orange. And it holds its leaves pretty well. So, and that, to me, you know, take your cues as far as colors from nature. Look at your, your leaves around your yard. So that's, that's the best way. And I have my one maple tree. That thing looks I have one, I have a sugar maple that looks like it's on fire when it goes, and I have um, another maple that looks like it's a big pumpkin when the colors go. So, I mean, it's really pretty. I love the regals, all the regals for our fall colors, which Paula hates the regals. They're too dark for her. Even the crushed curry is a little bit too dark for her. We still love her, but... That's not where her color favorites are, which is okay. 
that's why there's 50 colors so anyways I hope you guys have a great day getting crafty and as always I love the time that we spend together so I look forward to next time and oh we have to make a decision and you guys the decision is going to be based on when the craft room is done in regards to doing paper pumpkin this week or next week I'm gonna be honest the craft room's not done it's hard for me to pull things together I'm struggling today as you can tell so hopefully the craft room will be done I will post I promise I will post on both the regular page and on the pumpkin page so that you guys don't miss it if we do good to it this week have a great day too Erica I will see you guys hopefully in a couple of days